Nineveh Gorgon has been one of the most popular drops of the year. These G-Star Gorgons are still sold out. These are still something that are very difficult to find, and this is my favorite 10-speed in my bag at the moment. But we do thankfully have a new run. It's these Proto Glow Gorgons, which actually have a little bit of bubble rim action going on. So a Blizzard-type rim with Proto Glow plastic. I'm really curious to see how these guys actually fly. I'm curious to see what the differences are like. It's a 10.6 minus 3.1. I believe that one is listed as a 10.6 minus 2.1. Let's see what we can do with these guys at Hornet's Nest here today. Oh yeah. If you want something that's always gonna flip, the Gorgon is the one. Let's try a little more hyzer here. Oh yeah. That's actually gonna probably give us a long putt at the basket. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the side profiles. As you can see, they are quite similar. And I really am expecting this new Proto Glow run to fly similar to the G-Star run. Let's see if we can hit this gap on a little hyzer and just let it flip. <laughs> she, she flipped all right, she flipped all right. All right, Proto Glow. Little more hyzer. Oh, okay, not nearly as much flip, a lot more realistic flight. So my theory is definitely wrong. The new one flew a lot more like the Star Gorgon. And Innova's has come out with a few different drivers this year. I believe they had the Racer 1, the Racer 2. Um, the Racer came out in a bunch of different plastics. And I honestly think the Gorgon, for most players, is going to be the better distance driver. With that comfortable 10-speed rim and easy hyzer flip and turnover capabilities, I think it's going to find its way into a lot more players' bag a lot more easily than the racer. So both Gorgons were in a great birdie position. We've got a nice little Anheuser Berg to the basket for the easy birdie here. That's right under the basket. Easy tap in thanks to the Gorgon. Hole 10, we've got a few different options line-wise. Well, I think I'm gonna go up the right side with both discs. We're gonna try and do the Heiser Flip backhand with the G-Star and the Heiser Flip forehand with the Proto Glow. This guy's been flipping up a lot, so it actually needs quite a bit of Heiser to do what we need it to do here. <clears throat> oh, that is an awesome, sh no. That was such a nice shot, it hit the very last tree. That's the exact line I love the Gorgon for. All right, same line, but with the forehand. Beauty. Get up there. This is one of the hardest par threes on the course, and those are two of my best looking shots. So the only other discernible differences between the two discs is the feel in hand. The G-Star is always going to be a little more flexible a little bit gummier in the hand as opposed to the star and the proto glow i by no means would call either of them stiff but they're certainly more stiff when compared to g-star plastic all right one of my best drives ever on this hole but not a very easy putt come on wow unbelievable birdie all right just for funsies we're going to try the super flippy up high turnover forehand with the gorgon just for style points and then we'll hit a more serious line with the Proto Glow. That should be perfect. Get over there. Come on now. I love the Gorgon. Proto Glow. Oh, that's so good. Get in. Whoo! Public service announcement, the new Glow Gorgon is fire. Absolute park job. So ever since I got my first G-Star Gorgon, it hasn't quite ever had a reason to leave the bag. It's just such an easy hyzer flip and turnover disc for me. But the Scar Star Gorgon wasn't quite there, but I'm actually finding to myself to like this Glow one a lot better than I did the Star one. This may wind up with a spot in the bag as well. Seems to be a really good one to punch. Hole 12, we have an 820 foot par five. I wanna see how much I can stretch these out on a big high forehand turnover line. The backhand would be okay, but I really feel like I can stretch this one out really far with some open space. Oh, 
That needed a touch more hyzer. It's not terrible. <laughs> this one needs a lot more height and a lot more hyzer. Babe, please. <laughs> See if we can put one in range to lay up for the birdie. If it beats those trees, it's incredible. And I don't know how much truth there is to this, but apparently big germ Jeremy Coling designed this hole to be a flip up and turn forehand shot. And I think the Gorgon is a good disc for that shot. So let's see if we can hit the Jeremy line. Turn it. Oh, it's looking so good. We gotta try it with the green one now. Same shot, don't hit it. Oh, that one got clean. Puttery smooth on this forehand. All right, Big Germ was onto something. I have never in my lifetime parked this hole and this is absolutely parked. That's a lifetime first like tap in birdie. I've birdied it from distance before, but I've never put it this close off the tee before. Thanks for the line, Big Germ. All right, last hole of the day, hole 18. Original basket is back. One last shot with the Proto Glow. Does it have the integrity to fade? It's so far, but weren't quite stable enough to put it under the basket. I think that might be in the circle. So I think if you've never tried the Innova Gorgon, I do think you're missing out. Uh, if you have a slower arm speed or you want something that's going to be a guaranteed Heiser Flip guaranteed turnover or roller disc. I would advise checking out the G-Star, but I think for most players, you're really going to enjoy that new Proto Glow blend. It's a little bit stiffer than the G-Star, feels really nice, but has that same side profile, same comfortable feel in the hand that the Star and the G-Star have. I might have to put that one in my bag as well. The G-Star has firmly been in my bag for a while now. And I just love those trick shot flip up forehands, easy backhand turnovers. One of the just pushiest, straightest 10 speeds I've ever thrown. Super fun disc. If you want to check one out for yourself, click the link in the description below to check out my website with Disc Golf Deals USA. That's where you're going to save the most money on the Proto Glow Gorgon or any other disc golf products. Anyway, stay humble, live with gratitude. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.